Welcome to Physics, Newton's Laws of Motion, Session 5. The aim of this session is to calculate tension in case of pulley system. Also, we will see how to calculate acceleration in case of the pulley system. Here we are studying first thing, motion of two bodies connected by a spring. We call with the pulley system a body. As we see in this figure, there is a very interesting figure here with two bodies I have shown. A mass a blue color body, another is a red color body. Blue color body is heavy, so it starts sliding down. There is a pulley system attached here, fixed to the rigid support. It is called an Atwood machine. We will try to calculate the acceleration of the mass M1 and M2 when this pulley system is at rest. That means the rigid support is not moving. Now only mass M1 and mass M2 are in motion. Pulley system is at rest. So let us see uh, how the two bodies are going to move. So as we see here, the pulley is only in rotation and body blue color body is coming down. Red color body is moving up. Let us analyze when the pulley is at rest, how the two bodies are going to move. Let us consider this is a rigid support. This is a pulley which is at rest. Only rotation is possible. Here we have attached one mass. This mass suppose I call M1 and here we have another mass. Let me call this mass as mass M2. Yeah. M1 is greater than M2. So therefore, this body is going to come down and this body is going to move up. Let us analyze the forces on M1. We make free body diagram for M1. Due to gravity, one force here is M1g, upward tension T. Since this string is same throughout, tension will be same, inextinguishable massless string. Due to gravity, this will be pulled down M2g. The acceleration of mass M1 is downward as A. Similarly, acceleration of this mass M2 is also A, but it is in the upward direction. Now let us write free body diagram for the mass M1 and M2. Write the equation for mass M1 and M2. M1g since body is moving down minus T is equal to M1a. This is our equation 1. For the second body T minus M2g is equal to M2a. This is equation number 2. Solving these two equations. Adding. We get M1 minus M2g is equal to M1 plus M2 to A. So acceleration of the system will be M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 into G. Substituting this value of acceleration in any of the equation, we get tension T. Substituting value of acceleration, the tension T will be equal to 2 M1 M2 G divided by M1 plus M2. So we have seen in the case of Atwood machine, when one mass is heavier than another mass, this mass is going to be pulled down with an acceleration A. This mass is being moving up with an acceleration A. We made free body diagram. We drawn all the forces acting on the bodies and generated equation 1 and equation 2. With these two equations solving, we have got an acceleration M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 G and tension T is equal to M1 M2 by 2 M1 M2 by M1 plus M2 into G. Acceleration of both mass M1 M2 is same because the string is inextensible, flexible. So see here also in this case, this body is going to move down and as well as this body is going to move up. We can again see how the two bodies are in motion. So I think you have followed this Atwood machine where the acceleration of the system and tension in the string we have calculated when this pulley system is at rest. Now let us see a case 2 where again we will take an Atwood machine and acceleration of the system and tension we will study this time when the pulley moves with an acceleration A0. So let us consider this is the rigid support. 
now we have a police system and two masses are attached one mass I'll call as M1 this mass let us say as M2 now this pulley is moving either up or down acceleration due to gravity vector is downward this in turn mean to say that the complete system this complete system is moving with an acceleration either up or down acceleration A0 let us consider acceleration is A0 in the upward direction now for such type of bodies how we will write the free body diagram and what will be the acceleration and the tension the one force on this M1 is downward let us call this as M1G tension T on this body same string same tension here it is M2G this body is coming down with acceleration A this body moving up with acceleration A since in extensible string acceleration of both the masses is same so the equation with respect to the acceleration the pulley system since it is moving with an acceleration A0 we can consider the acceleration of this body uh, the net resultant acceleration which we have studied earlier as A equal to M1 minus M2 divided by M1 plus M2 into G now we can write this in terms of vector notation as G plus A0 G vector plus A0 vector and tension in the string as 2 M1 M2 divided by M1 plus M2 into this will be in terms of vector G vector plus A0 vector for example if we take it the pulley system is moving up if the pulley system moves up with acceleration A0 then the acceleration will be written as acceleration of each mass M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 into G vector hmm? G vector now I will write it in terms of magnitude since it is moving up it is G plus A0 and if the pulley system is moving down with acceleration A0 then the acceleration of each body will be M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 to G minus A0 similarly we can also write the tensions now you'll say how we got these equations let us consider the system is moving the complete pulley system is moving upward acceleration so this M1 also although it is coming down inside this system but net this M1 will be moving with an acceleration A0 upward as well as M2 also will be moving with an acceleration A0 so the acceleration of mass M1 will be let us consider as A1 which is equal to A0 minus A M2 is also moving in the same direction with the same acceleration A0 so therefore this acceleration of M2 will be A2 is equal to A0 plus A A0 plus A fine these are the individual accelerations of mass M1 and M2 at any instant of time so if I write free body equations using this acceleration A1 A2 for mass M1 it will be T minus M1G is equal to M1 into A1 or I can write M1 into A0 minus A T minus M2G for the second body is equal to M2 into A2 or M2 into A0 plus A let us expand first equation we will take this as equation 1 this is equation 2 from first equation we get T minus M1 G is equal to M1 A0 minus M1 A second equation T minus M2 G is equal to M2 A0 minus M2 A now we require to eliminate T cancel minus plus minus plus subtract we get it minus M1 plus M2 G is equal to 
m1 minus m2 into a0 minus or we'll take it minus m1 minus m2 into a. So what will be a equal to? This we can write as minus sign here m1 minus m2 and bring this term here and this term this side. a is equal to m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into this is a plus a0 this plus so here we get plus into g plus a0 when the system is moving up g plus a0 that's what we got when system is moving down we'll get g minus a0 similarly tension can be written as 2 m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into g plus a0 when the body is moving up and g minus a0 or the pulley is moving down so in the atwood machine is a practically a machine with two masses m1 and m2 and a pulley system if the pulley system is at rest it's very easy just to draw two free body diagrams calculate the acceleration when the pulley system is moving then we can take the net acceleration as a1 is equal to a naught minus a a2 is equal to a naught plus a. if imagine the acceleration is in the downward direction then in that condition what we'll do this direction is the direction in which m1 will move as well as m2 will move because the pulley takes both the masses together so what will be acceleration a1 here a1 here will be a naught plus a k1 will be in that case a0 plus a and this is a1 similarly what will be a2 acceleration here a0 minus a a2 acceleration can be written as a0 minus a followed now we are taking these two a1 and a2 as the reference let us make free body diagram and write the equation again this direction taken positive we can write this equation as m1g m1g minus t is equal to m1 into a0 plus a m2g minus t is equal to m2 into a2 a0 minus a solving again we will get these equations let us take motion of two bodies connected by a string with one body on horizontal smooth surface and another body vertically also calculate the tension here there is a visual which is showing the mass mg going down this is mass mg, small mg going because gravity is pulling it down. Tension in the string as shown away from the body. Here we have a horizontal surface capital MG at the floor or you can say table. Normal reaction here. The acceleration is A. This acceleration and this extension same because inextensible string. Okay, table applies a normal reaction upward. The block it balances downward WMG. Another block small m tries to bring it down and due to the string is trained to produce tension uh, pulls the block m down upward. Same tension is applied on block m to the right and this block capital M starts moving on the frictionless table along tension. Another block small m moves down. Let us analyze and write the equation uh, taking the direction of motion as positive. So now I will just analyze working out the equations picture what you have seen just now. We have two bodies. One body is on the horizontal surface, another body is on the vertical. So let us consider this body is capital M. Another body we have here as small m. Now this is a smooth surface. Let us see what are the forces that are acting on these two bodies. One force is mg. Another is tension T, here tension T, this is capital MG, which is balanced by normal reaction M. This is coming down with acceleration A, since in extensible string, this is acceleration A. Now, let us write the equations based on the free body diagram. MG minus T is equal to MA. I have taken MG direction as positive since it is the direction of acceleration. Equation 1. Second equation. Only one force is there along horizontal direction. That is T. 
T is equal to capital M A. This is equation 2. Solve it. Small m g is equal to capital M plus small m into A. So what is the acceleration? m g divided by capital M plus small m. And if you require the tension, substitute this value of acceleration in equation either 2 or equation 1. So in, if I substitute in 2, capital M into A, m g divided by capital M plus small m. Or tension T will be capital M small m g divided by capital M plus small m. So this will be the tension in the string and this will be the acceleration. Followed, we have m due to gravity pulled down. String tension up. This string tension single string. So tension will be same. T here. Gravity acts force mg acts on the table which is balanced by normal reaction. So tension only has to pull it and provide acceleration. This acceleration, this acceleration is same because inextensible massless string. So if it goes 1 centimeter down, this body has to move 1 centimeter here. That's what you will see in this picture. If it goes down, this body has to move in this direction. Let us see the movement of both the bodies again. Due to this weight, the body is coming down. Now here, T is the cause. Tension is the cause for the body to pull it horizontally.